Tirpitz is the first German ship in the game. An intricate battleship with peculiarities and surprises, she is completely different from Japanese and US monsters of the Pacific Ocean. The Northern Seas are her home. She is like a white whale, only 350 times heavier. Raiding convoys is her favorite pastime. She is also known to admire a sky full of aircraft, but not by choice. So, does she play by the rules or make her own? In real life, she didn't see planes often. Tirpitz was built for the North Atlantic, which wasn't dominated by aircraft carriers. Ships were fighting at such short distances that their captains could just as easily start throwing rocks at each other. The legendary battleship Bismarck perished in one such close encounter after enduring damage from a long-range torpedo. Tirpitz was her sister ship. To avoid suffering the same fate as Bismarck, the battleship hid in Norwegian fjords, where her mere presence kept the Allied supply lines in fear. However, in the game, she will have to come out of hiding and face the enemy. Aircraft is the first thing that might be a problem for this German vessel. Airplanes flying over tear pits may easily mistake her anti-aircraft guns for fireworks. Lots of noise and sparks, but limited damage. That's why, if you hear the sound of propellers, seek the cover of your allies. Tirpitz may also be in trouble during long-range encounters. Her long-range guns aren't the best in her tier. Her armor was not made for this kind of punishment. Of course, one raid and a couple of artillery salvos will not sink Tirpitz. She has a substantial pool of hit points that aren't to be laughed at. However, it's better not to try your luck. You need to face the enemy on your terms. Tirpitz is skilled in close combat engagements. The durability and unusual armor work best in these conditions. Rational slopes of steel sheets easily bounce enemy shells. The intricate protection of the citadel makes it almost impossible to hit it at short and medium range. In an exchange with an adversary, the Tirpitz's combat capability points will diminish steadily. All you have to do is make sure you attack from the right distance. With a speed of 31 knots, almost that of a cruiser, it certainly helps. Even Yamato and Montana can't catch up with her. This allows Tirpitz to close the range or evade her pursuers without difficulty. However, you still need a battle plan because high speed has its drawback, the turning circle radius. When such a long and narrow machine accelerates, the lateral water resistance is extraordinary. As a result, we have an effective turning circle radius of 2,460 feet. For Japanese and American battleships, this is standard. But when vessels like this duel, it is better to forget about turning at all. The first one to expose the side of their ship may become the first floating scrap pile. However, these are the rules of the Pacific Ocean. Tirpitz simply adds a dash of North Atlantic to them. She has torpedoes, which is like having a nuclear bomb on board. Not in terms of power, but in terms of deterrence. If you tell a destroyer at the beginning of a battle that it will perish from a battleship's torpedo, it will just laugh at you. But as it gets closer to Tirpitz, its small, cunning heart starts to beat faster. Torpedoes may not sink you, but they will surely keep you at bay. When Tirpitz closes in on a battleship, her adversary faces a tough choice. Expose a ship's side or prepare for a torpedo strike. This German doesn't even need to turn. The traversing angles of her torpedo tubes might surprise even destroyers. Of course, a smart enemy will choose the first option. In this case, Tirpitz will not destroy it with a single salvo due to her less than average shell damage. However, she will have the advantage thanks to high damage per second. Her guns reload faster than those of the same class ships by several seconds. That's why you should be ready to acknowledge that battleships will prefer to stay away from Tirpitz and strike from a safe distance. When Tirpitz is unable to dictate her own rules, the only thing left to do is choose the correct target. And that target should be a cruiser. The 15-inch caliber is enough to penetrate their armor, even at a range of 13.5 miles. The turret's rotational speed allows you to keep them in your sights no matter what they do. Cruisers can consider Tirpitz one of their own, only heavier and more powerful. Speed.
damage per minute, impressive artillery, she has it all. Thick armor and substantial combat capability are all extra. She is the queen of cruisers, a unique ship unlike any other. On top of all that, she's easy on the eyes too.